Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Scorpio, there's somebody here who is really clinging to the memory of you, or this is you clinging to the memory of someone. <clears throat> because these, these energies can go vice versa. Excuse me. <clears throat> and so... Um, the card of clinging, which is the first card out in your reading and really sets the tone for this reading, uh, is somebody who is just not ready to let something go or let someone go, holding on really, really tightly still. Um, fear of loss, fear of change. Um, <clears throat> the air in the reverse is is really... It, it was like the perfect card to have fallen on on this card because it talks about somebody who is uh, not yet ready uh, to let something go. And that's exactly what this first card of clinging is saying. Looking forward feels empty as though, you know, you're not not yet ready to let go of the past. You were them. Um, they could be asking themselves or you could be asking yourself what is it that feels missing what what is that emptiness in me why am I feeling like this you may have <clears throat> you may have left things unsaid undone uh, when it comes to a past situation and the appearance of this card uh, would be telling you that it's time to take care of these things now. Okay? It's time to take care of them now. So, there is somebody here, and we have the moon on top of all of this. So, there's a lot of emotion here. You or they could be feeling very, very emotional about someone that got left behind in the past. Okay? Um... Uh, whether your hand was forced or not, okay, there's a lot of emotion here. Um, this person, whoever this is, you or them, uh, is just not ready to move on. You're still like head over heels in love with this person, you or they, whoever this is. I feel like somebody's trying to make a decision to go back and do this take care of these things that have been left unsaid undone i because i feel like it's like okay well, i'm gonna use my intuition this time because last time i didn't and look where i am last time i let my emotions get you know get the better of me lost control and this is the consequence of that so this time, I'm going to do things differently. And so now, instead of letting the swords drive them, they are releasing the swords and allowing uh, the intuition to, you know, to guide them. That's what they're, they're doing. When it comes, because we have this, look, here she is letting go, releasing the swords. And there's the high priestess. And so, in order to go and get these answers, this person has decided to use their intuition to try and intuit their way um, through this energy uh, to help them, uh, to help guide them as to what the next best step is um, when it comes to their feelings and telling somebody how they feel, you know. Um, and should I tell them how I really feel? I feel like, yes, I feel like they want to. I feel like they're afraid to, but I feel like they want to. I feel like they want to. They want to reach for that opportunity to tell somebody how they feel, but they're very afraid. They want to clear things up, lay out everything on the table. This is their decision to go back and clear something up. 
and yet this card says that and then this this goes on to uh, um, uh, to speak about uh, how they are afraid because it's like well okay um, this can this is a card of like a lucky break so they may get a lucky break uh, when it comes to a second chance to clear something up okay but uh, they must be vigilant still so this card tells you that on one hand you get a lucky break but on the other hand you still need to be careful because there's still much that you don't know so it's like they're almost like they're going to create this opportunity themselves this bit of luck okay but they must uh, still be vigilant okay because there is much that is left in it in the unknown that they don't know and they have a great fear of the unknown with the air in the reverse and the moon being here they have these subconscious fears and so they want to return to you it could be that they want yeah oh look at that so this ended on a bad note it ended very badly they may have went too far, went to the extreme about something, and now they are regretful. That's what this card says. They're looking back at what they've done in this card. And so they want to return to you. And either this person is wanting to uh, set you free, because we have a cage down here. You see that? And the door is open. So they either want to set you free or set themselves free from uh, the thoughts they're thinking or from the questions they have on their mind from something that's burdening them so th this person is coming to seek your attention whoops one minute I will be right back all right I had a card went on the floor and so you can see that they are very emotional here. Very emotional. Because Temperance has both, both of her feet in the water. So when it comes to making adjustments, when it comes to making change, they get very emotional, okay, uh, because of the past. Okay, so they're very, very emotional, and we picked that up right at the beginning about the past, about releasing the past, about loss. They have fear of loss here, and and so this is why they keep putting it off. You know, there were things that were left unsaid, undone, and and maybe they fear that going back and finding out those answers will be worse than than where they are now in their mind. That's if they let the swords continue to to drive their their thoughts there's some, a question that is heavily on their mind and it is why they're holding back and I, I actually think that you know this is more than one thing but I I feel like the one thing is uh, you know do they love me did they ever care about me you know um, that sort of thing uh, do they feel the same way I do? Are they missing me? Like there's all kinds of questions on their mind and they're afraid to know the answers to those. So they keep putting it off. Um, I feel like you must feel a connection to this person. Um, this can be soulmate energy. I feel like... Um, yeah, so I feel like with Pythia being over here, I feel like um, this person, mm, this person may not have listened to their intuition in the past. And they may have let others influence them also in their decision making. Okay. And again, uh, it is a consequence where they are now is a consequence for that decision. And so they're studying an idea, and um, this is a new opportunity here. We see this king with his coin, and we see the ace of coins right here. Now he's got eyes everywhere, so he would be watching. He would be looking at every little detail, uh, every little angle, uh, to try to figure out if this opportunity is a possibility. 
because it's something he's seeking. But <laughs> he's sitting down it, and um, this is actually going to require him to get up and uh, take a risk, make an effort. It's something he really wants. It's something he really desires. He is uh, motivated by his heart and what his heart wants. Okay, the fool is here. So he's like feeling very much on edge here in this previous card. You guys are apart. That's what this card indicates, a time apart. So you've had this time apart and now they want to end that. Um, and follow their heart. They want to go back and finish what they left unsaid, undone. It's what they're supposed to be doing. It's what they're supposed to be doing. There's This is an opportunity, really, for them to do that. This is something that this person has been putting off and putting off and putting off. You see how... Um, how the man on the justice card here, how he's he's this judge or whatever, he's looking at uh, at that sword and the scales on the wall. That's something he hung there for later because he didn't want to deal with it right away. You know, didn't want to deal with it today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> that's that's what it was, and um, because it requires a risk of him. You know. It requires a risk uh, when it comes to his heart. And he's, he's afraid that it's going to end badly again with that 10. But this card says also that if he has learned his lesson, and if he's learned his lesson well, that he can bring this back to life. He can bring it back from the brink of death because this is like on the brink of death. That's that's where this card uh, brings you. But it doesn't mean you have to stay there. It doesn't mean you have to stay there. And once he realizes that, he'll make his move. Because here he's putting it off. Look at this. This, this is incredible. Watch this. Look at this. All right. That's what he's he's thinking of and and he comes with the fool he's thinking of taking this risk oops whoops <laughs> there we go all right and there he is right there could be you Scorpio <laughs> and look what we have we know he does it because of this card okay so back here he's thinking of it it's up on the wall but here he's right there in front of him he's doing it there's the sword there's the scale. So back here we have a temptation to do it. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. There's the decision to give in to the temptation. There it is right there. That ace of swords was sitting right underneath the lovers. Look at that. Wow. So there's your decision and there's your, there's your proof that they're actually going to do this. That's your proof right there. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.